The clock is running on another federal government shutdown. Congress has 13 days to pass a spending bill, but the House is deadlocked in a battle to end funding for Planned Parenthood, which provides women's health services, including abortion. Today, Republicans prevailed in a vote to cut off money for the group, and Nancy Cordes is on Capitol Hill. Those are lungs? Yeah, yeah, those are Today's vote was a reaction to these undercover videos released by conservative activists this summer. They show Planned Parenthood doctors discussing the harvesting of fetal tissue from abortions for research. Pennsylvania Republican Mike Kelly. This is about a horrific act that is repulsive and repugnant and has no place in America, and America's taxpayers refuse to pay for that type the of gentleman's act. gentleman's time has expired. Wake up! But the House vote to cut off government funding for Planned Parenthood for one year... On this vote, the yeas are 241 was largely a symbolic gesture because Republicans don't have the votes in the Senate. Illinois Democrat Jan Schakowsky. Planned Parenthood does not sell any body parts for profit. That is a fact. Still, a group of conservative lawmakers is threatening mutiny against House Speaker John Boehner if he doesn't take the fight further and use the threat of a government shutdown to force Democrats to cut off funding. We need to stop surrendering and start... A strategy endorsed by several Republican presidential candidates, including Ted Cruz and Carly Fiorina. I dare Hillary Clinton, Barack Obama to watch these tapes, watch a fully formed fetus on the table, its heart beating, its legs kicking, while someone says we have to keep it alive to harvest its brain. The videos actually don't show that, and some Republicans are openly warning that the last time the party tried this strategy to cut off Obamacare funding, it was unsuccessful and led to a 17-day shutdown, Scott, for which they got most of the blame. Nancy Cordes on Capitol Hill. Nancy, thank you.